Hello, so the last video arguably had a right-wing slant, or at least a socially conservative slant. So to balance things out, this video is going to be arguably more left-leaning. Um, the conservative MP Jacob Rees-Mogg, I believe is MP for North East or North West Somerset, can't remember which, um, has apparently said, he's been quoted in an LBC radio interview, as saying that the need for food banks uh, or the use of food banks is uplifting because it shows what a compassionate nation we are that people are using them. Now, when you look into this statement, it's rather shocking, not particularly surprising. If he is talking about the charitable nature of British people, that is that individuals are funding these food banks, that would be one thing. But the problem with Jacob Rees-Mogg is that he's a typical Tory toff, quite frankly. He is out of touch. And it is conservative austerity that has been pushing people to rely on these things. Charity in itself is benevolent. But the fact that charity has to exist is not a good thing. Jacob Rees-Mogg has never once in his life had to rely on a food bank, it goes without saying. He's lived in a bubble. Now, what his supporters say is, oh, it's great, here we have a guy who's so honest. He's a true blue conservative in every sense of the word, on every big issue. Um, he's anti-abortion, he's, um, he's anti-Europe, he's, he's a true blue Thatcherite Tory, right? And in the UK, he's become quite well known for his... Um, for basically being the honourable member for the Edwardian era. In other words, he, he sort of fits the stereotype of uh, a Tory gentleman from the 1910s. Um, and it, it's become sort of a meme. It's become all, almost a running joke. Now, I'm not saying that I disagree with every single position that Jacob Rees-Mogg has, but the fact that there are Tories who actually think this man should be our next Prime Minister is absurd. I mean, you don't need to be particularly left-wing to see that this man is absolutely one of the worst choices there would be for Prime Minister of 21st century Britain. I mean, he would make Jeremy Corbyn look responsible. This is a guy who, this statement about food banks, to me, just demonstrates, frankly, Tory callousness. This is the same party, let's not forget, that has driven potentially thousands of people to suicide through work capability assessments. That is not a record to be proud of. That is a record to be ashamed of. And one thing I find frustrating with a lot of conservative voters is they seem to lack any empathy for their fellow citizens. And it is a survival of the fittest mindset. I've got mine, so to hell with anyone who's struggling. It must be because they're lazy. It must be because they deserve it. That is Tory thinking. And it's something I have no respect for. I'm not saying every Tory thinks like that. I'm not saying every conservative-minded person is callous. I know there are conservatives out there who do charity work. I know there's decent people who vote conservative. But there is fundamentally a survival of the fittest mindset in British conservatism. And it is something that I, I feel deeply uneasy about. Their record on driving unemployed people to suicide is disgusting. Anyone who denies that, look look at the testimonies of people who have been through these ordeals. Look, look at the testimony of people, terminal cancer patients, who've had threatening letters from the Department of Work and Pensions telling them that they're fit for work. This is the shameful Tory record. It's a record of the Cameron May years. And it's something that Jacob Rees-Mogg absolutely supports. So do not be fooled into thinking that this statement is about he thinks it's great for charity. He thinks it's great that the poor are being punished. That is a real issue here. And he might not say it in those terms, but look a bit deeper, and that is Jacob Rees-Mogg's mentality. And God forbid we ever elect this man to number 10. Um, he would make David Cameron and Theresa May look like loony left liberals. He would make Margaret Thatcher look like a Marxist. He's a joke. 
he might be honest. But honesty, honesty is a good thing because we can see what he is. And I don't disagree with all his positions, but positions like this shows me just how utterly callous and unfit for government this man is. Now, you might disagree with me. That's your right, but I would suggest then you have the same callousness as he does. The problem is Jacob Rees-Mogg just doesn't, he, he doesn't understand wider society and he never will. And he is just as polarizing and just as out of touch as hard left, you know, um, proto-communist Corbyn supporters. Two extremes. I can never, ever, ever vote for that sort of Tory. So shame on Jacob Rees-Mogg and his callous mindset. People can gloss over whatever they, way they want. He, I, I am not convinced that he was saying it's great that the British are charitable. The point he was making was it's, it's great that we have food banks. It's the Tory austerity that is their the reliance on these food banks. That is not something to be proud of. I would be very interested in seeing his views, on, incidentally, on bank bonuses. I very much doubt that Jacob Rees-Mogg would be of the school of thought that, well, you can see what I'm saying with this, um, and I'll leave it there.